In the first question, you have a 40-year-old patient who has been informed that her combined first trimester screening shows high risk for Down syndrome. Yes. So basically, the screening test was done and she has high risk of Down syndrome. She presents to you at 16 weeks of pregnancy seeking advice for further management. What is the most appropriate test for her? So what is the main concept here? Whenever screening test is positive, you have to go for a confirmatory test. In the screening test, the first trimester screening that we do is basically double marker and NTNB scan. We have two confirmatory tests. What are the confirmatory tests that we can do next? We have chorionic villus sampling and amniocentesis. The common mistake that the students make here in this question is as soon as they see that in the first trimester screening, in the first trimester screening is high risk for Down syndrome. As I told you, we have two confirmatory tests, CVS and amnio. What do we do in the first trimester? We do chorionic villus sampling. CVS or chorionic villus sampling is done after 10 weeks. The ideal time is between 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks. Amniocentesis is done after 15 weeks. The ideal time is between 16 to 18 weeks. Yes, so this is the ideal time. It can be done after 15 weeks. Ideal time is 16 to 18 weeks. Chorionic villus sampling can be done after 10 weeks. Ideal time is between 11 to 13 weeks and 6 days. So as soon as you see the first trimester screening is positive, students have a tendency to go to CVS. But what is the catch in the question? The question is telling you patient has presented to you at 16 weeks. So now what is the answer? Your answer is amniocentesis. The correct answer is amniocentesis here. Suppose in the same question, I remove this point that she has presented to you at 16 weeks. This point is completely removed. In that situation, you are dealing with the first trimester screen positive. Then your answer would have been CVS. But here, as the question tells you specifically, 16 weeks, your answer is going to be amniocentesis. So let's discuss a bit more about these tests as such. Compared to CVS and comparing the CVS and amniocentesis, chorionic villus sampling has higher risk of abortion. Amniocentesis have lower risk of abortion. The extra advantage of this chorionic villus sampling is that it helps you for an early diagnosis. Whereas amniocentesis, there is late diagnosis. What about the other test? Your nuchal translucency, this is a part of your screening test. So in the first trimester screening, we do this basically between 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks. We do two tests. So this is for your screening. Screening, yes. So for screening, we do two tests. That is NTNB scan. What is NTNB? That is basically nuchal translucency and nasal bone. Sometimes simply called as nuchal translucency scan. So we do NTNB scan, which is basically an ultrasound. And we do the serum biomarkers that includes your double marker. Yes, double marker. Again, if they ask you, when do you do? The answer is same. Repeatedly asked. NTNB done between 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks. Double marker done between 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks. Double marker basically include two tests. Beta HCG and PAP A. Beta HCG and PAP A. In Down syndrome patients, patients with Down syndrome, we see that beta HCG is big or increased and PAP A is decreased. When you look at the ultrasound, that is NTNB scan, we see that NT, nuchal translucency, more than 3 millimeter, nasal bone absent, these are again considered as abnormal. If any of this, you see that this test, once it is combined, if you do both these tests, this is known as combined testing. If you see that the screening test is abnormal, what do you do next? Your answer is confirmatory test. Please don't choose any more screening test again. This is a common mistake again that I see in the students. After they see high risk of screening, high risk in the screening test, they again go for second trimester screening, such as triple marker, quadruple marker, absolute no. What will you do? You will go for confirmatory test. That is CVS and amnio 
and I already told you when you are going to choose each of these answers. Yes. So what about the second trimester screening? In the second trimester screening, again, previous year question, when do you do quadruple markers? Second trimester. When do you do triple markers? So second trimester screening, either you can go for triple marker or you have the option of quadruple marker. As the name suggests, triple means three. You do three tests. The three tests that you do are A, B, C. You can remember like that. A for alpha fetoprotein, B for beta HCG, and C is unconjugated estriol. So in triple marker, you look at alpha fetoprotein, beta HCG, and unconjugated unconjugated E3, that is estriol. Quadruple marker has an extra test. The fourth test is inhibin. Again, this is a high potential question. Please note which inhibin do you test? Is it inhibin A or inhibin B? It is inhibin A that is tested here. Inhibit A is tested. So these are the three things that you test in your triple marker. That is alpha beta protein, beta HCG, unconjugated estriol. Quadruple has an extra marker that is inhibin A. Whenever you have high risk in your first trimester screening, you will never go for again a screening test. What is your next answer? You will go for confirmatory test. What about this fourth? option that is given NIPT. NIPT or non-invasive prenatal testing which is also known as cell free DNA testing. This is also known as cell free DNA test. This is basically done in the mother's blood. The mother's blood is taken and tested for free fetal DNA. Hence the name cell free fetal cell free DNA test. Here, the maternal blood is tested for pre-fetal DNA. Mother's blood is tested. So what is the advantage? Zero risk of abortion, no risk of abortion. But what is the catch with this test? This is not a confirmatory test. This is yet again another screening test with high sensitivity. So NIPT is a confirmatory test or a screening test. NIPT is again a screening test. This is a screening test with high sensitivity. What is tested? Mother's blood. Maternal test blood is tested for pre-fetal DNA. Again, it's not a confirmatory test. You are not going to do this test as well. And again, it's a very expensive test. It's a screening test with high sensitivity. Yes, these are the key.